Why exactly do car batteries go flat? Well, there's lots of reasons as to why this can happen, but generally they fall under five different categories. The first reason is undercharging, and this is by far the most common cause of battery failure, and you probably don't even know that it's been going on. Because in a lot of older vehicles, the alternator was always charging the battery whenever the engine was running. But this isn't so good for fuel economy, so a lot of newer vehicles have smart alternator, smart charging systems, which can turn on or off the alternator and on or off the charge to try and save fuel when the car is running. These newer vehicles tend to lean on the battery a lot harder and don't keep it charged as much as older vehicles would have. Also, if you have a vehicle which is killing batteries, new batteries, in quick succession, it points to an issue with the vehicle's charging system rather than issues with the batteries themselves. The second reason is human error, because let's face it, none of us are perfect, and some vehicles may let you accidentally leave on headlights, interior lights, glove box lights, boot lights. It can also be an issue you're not even aware of, such as a faulty switch on your glove box, meaning that the light stays on even when the glove box is shut. A light which is running all the time is definitely going to flatten the battery over a day or over a couple of days, wearing it down over time. And this brings us to our third cause, which is parasitic drain. These are items or accessories in your car which are running when the engine is not. So most common offenders are dash cams, alarm systems, electronic rust proofing systems, and things like that. So yes, the thing to remember here is if you've got something running in your car electrically when the engine is not, the battery's gonna be suffering. The fourth reason could be your driving habits. Now, if you drive a car on lots of short, small trips, so just from your house down to the shops a kilometer away, driving it back again, you're starting your car, you're stopping your car, and you're not driving it for long enough for the alternator to put the charge back into the battery that it spent starting the engine at the start of the trip. So over time, you get this sort of stairway effect where the battery voltage drops when it starts the engine and it doesn't quite get all the way back to where it started. It drops again when you start it again and, and so forth. So batteries and vehicles which are used in this manner are definitely not going to last as long compared to another vehicle which is doing lots of longer trips and getting the battery charged up before the end of the journey. Lead acid batteries also lose their charge over time. So if you have a vehicle or a show car, something which is not driven very often, the battery is generally going to be trending downwards on its voltage between the times you drive it. And the last reason is it could simply be an old battery. Old batteries are simply not as good as holding their charge as newer batteries, surprise, surprise. And when you consider that lead acid batteries on average last approximately 42 months or around three and a half years, if you have a battery which is beyond this age, it's definitely on borrowed time. Keep a close eye on it, get it tested and replace it before it fails. So the thing to remember is that if your battery went flat a lot quicker than you expected, it's important to rule out whether your vehicle has any issues with its charging system. If you simply drop in a new battery and continue, you'll be up for a replacement in around the same time. So if you're in doubt, head on down to your local UASA Batteries retailer for a free battery test and make sure your vehicle is spick and span before you drop in a new one. For more information, visit the website, uasabatteries.com.au.